activities for you. The first one is about measuring trees. So raise your hand if you can think about who might want to measure trees. Who would be some people that might want to measure trees? Are there any jobs that people would have to measure trees, Emily? Loggers. Maybe loggers. Logan? Scientists. Oh, scientists maybe. Who else might want to measure trees? Who else, Emily? I couldn't hear it. People who build houses. People who build houses. Ethan. DNR. DNR. Fantastic. So a lot of people need to measure trees. Now, if I come up to this tree, what's a good way to measure it? What are some ways that we could measure it? Ethan? Uh, we could do it in inches. And are we going to measure height, width? What do you think, Bradley? Height. Maybe the height. What else could we measure, Caleb? Width. The width. We have a fancy word for that in math. We call this the circumference. Have you learned that before? It's the area around the tree, the circumference. Now, if I take and measure the tree with a tape measure, and I measure it, oh, let's say up here by my head, and then I measure it down by my feet, is it going to be the same number? Maybe. Maybe or maybe not. Maybe. Not. So foresters have something special that they do. They measure all the time at the same place. It's called DBH, diameter at breast height. So DBH, if you look here on the tree. There's a big ant. That's okay, the ant can stay right there. It's part of the habitat, isn't it? So it goes just like that, and it's 54 inches. How many feet is that? How many feet are in that? Three. Logan? Four, a little over four, isn't it? So what you're going to need to do is figure out where DBH is on you. And for me, it's right at my shoulder, where my shoulder meets. And that's where I'm going to measure. Why do you suppose all foresters and scientists and DNR and loggers and people who build houses, why do you suppose they all do this in the same spot? Ethan. So it's an accurate measurement. It's an accurate measurement. We call that standardization. So we want it to be standard. So what we're going to do is we're going to have you come up and figure out where is the 54 on you. So why don't you form a line behind Ethan and then come and stand next to it and we'll see where the 54 is. So we're going to start with a nice easy string and you're each going to get a piece of tape or you can cut off your string if you want to use a scissors and we're going to measure the circumference of a tree. So we're going to each get one of these and I'll show you first before I pass those out. So remember you're going to go up to the tree, you remember where your DBH is, okay? And that's the area you're going to go around the tree to measure, okay? Now what if this tree is too wide and I can't get around with my string, what can I do? Caleb? You can get a longer string. I can get another string and tie it together. So what you're going to do is you're going to go measure circumference of trees right in this row. We have four trees right in this row. You're going to measure the circumference and you can either cut off or not the end or you can use a little piece of tape. And you can so we have what is called a bar graph. We're going from the smallest tree to the next to the next and that's the longest. Exactly. So remember, if you can back up just a tiny bit, Remember when we measure the distance around the trunk of the tree, what do we call that again? Circumference. Circumference. So these are actually not lengths, even though they look like lengths, they're actually widths. So which one is the thinnest tree? Point to the one that's the thinnest. Which one is the thickest tree in the trunk? Yes, these two at the end are the thickest. If we look at this graph, what kinds of patterns are we seeing? Are all the trees the same? No. They're not the same. So we've one got is, trees right along here. One is. What information do you think we can get, Cameron? Uh, what size the tree is. <gasps> yeah, we know what size they are. So they're different widths. Do you think they're all the same age? No. No, they're probably not all the same age either. Are they all the same kinds of trees when you looked at yeah. the types of trees? Yeah. Yeah. Some are, we've got a pine tree over here that somebody measured and then we've got some other trees along here. So we see lots of different trees. Remember earlier we talked about diversity in the forest? Yeah. Why is diversity important in the forest? 
Do you remember why? We talked about that special green chip in our game. The loggers need to know the width of it so they know when to cut it down. When is the best time to manage the because forest? They That's want it a certain width. Exactly. Yeah. All right. So this is a follow-up to measuring the tree. We already did. What was the measurement around the trunk again? Circumference. Now we're going to do one that somebody suggested. We're going to try height. We're going to try measuring height. So this can be a little tricky. We're going to try the first method we're going to try is called proportional height. I'm going to demonstrate all the way through and then I'm going to let you try it with your partner. Okay? So the first one, we're going to do this tree together. This one right here. There's six Step, of her. Six of her. Hey, folks, how's it going? Step number two, other student holds ruler at arm's length. Now be careful that your zero is on the ground side, okay? And you want to hold it with kind of a stiff, straight arm, okay? The zero should be on the bottom. Yep, the zero on the bottom. So you, yours needs to go this way. Hi. We're looking at inches. You're okay. All right, so your teacher is being a proportional ruler for us. So it says Six num inches. number three, note where the top of the student's head appears on the ruler. Now what we need to do yeah. is we need to make sure that one. the 12, <laughs> listen up Cameron, the 12 is at the top of the tree and the zero is at the trunk of the tree. So can everybody see that? No, that's not, I we should be right about in the right spot. No. You might need to step forward or back depending on your height. And where is your teacher's height when you look on the ruler? I got two inches. Two inches. Okay, come over yeah. here. Two inches. Yeah. So come and look at your sheet. It says, know where top of teacher's head appears on ruler. It's two inches. So we divide 12 by two and get what? Six. Six. So your first step, boys and girls, is just to see where your partner is on a tree. Now, you're gonna pick a different tree because we've done this one, and then you'll come back for the next part. But just remember whether they're at one, two, or three, okay? I couldn't measure it. Okay, this far enough? All right. We're, now, see, can you get to the top? No. Nope, okay, we gotta keep going. You picked a challenging tree, but that makes it more fun. Now, all right, have you got it now? All right, so is the zero on the ground and the 12 is at the very tippy top? Right? Okay, now where is her head? Um, at the one, perfect, okay. So you guys, do you remember your number? Yeah, one. So go ahead and do yours. I got you. One divided by 12. Yours was one and a half? Okay, so we're going to go to the next step then. So how long is the ruler? 12. 12 inches. And then she was how tall? One and a half inches? No. Okay. Okay, you were. Okay, so what you do is you do 12 divided by 1.5. So you can do that on the calculator. Did you get it? So remember that, okay? So go ahead and do it. So you do 12 divided by 1.5. And then when you're ready, I'll show you the next step. Okay, so you've got eight. And then do you, do you know what your height is? Are you about four feet tall? Yeah. I'm five. Okay, so four feet, we have to do four times 12. I'm six feet, so that makes you about... So, four times? Oh, you're close. One more group of 12. 48. 48. And then we do it times 8. Can you do 48 times 8 on there? All right, now we need to divide that by 12. All right, so which tree did you do? Oh, that one. So you know how tall it is? Yeah. How many feet? 50. It's 50 feet. That's scary. That tree is 50 feet. Yep, it's 50 feet. And so which tree did you do? That's straight. So how so tall is it? 32 feet. Very good. You guys did great.